Hello guys, this is Joe from Digital Phantom FX and welcome to my first video tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create a 3D bouncing logo in After Effects using uh, Particular and Shatter. Uh, by the way guys, subscribe to my channel to keep track of my videos and tutorials. Uh, let's take a look at the final result. So as you can see here, it's a YouTube 3D logo falling then bouncing on the floor and sliding a little bit down so all that was created in after effects cs3 so um let's create a new composition i'm gonna call this one final and um, 1280 by 720 that's fine and five seconds long okay click okay now we have the blank composition here so we need to import the image of the logo so file import file i have it here black and white it's very important that your image is black and white if you don't have a black and white try to make it black and white and if you don't know how to do it uh, send me a personal message or email me and I'll help you out. Um, black and white is very important because when the logo, when you're trying to make the logo, you need transparencies. So uh, black and white is very important. So uh, as you all, all guys know, uh, YouTube uh, has two colors. Uh, this one is black, but this one is going to be red. So we need two separate layers, one black and one red. So let's duplicate, select the layer, click edit, duplicate, and let's click enter on the first one and call this one U. And let's do the same one for the second one, click enter, type two. So let's solo the first layer and let's click on the rectangular mask to Let's make a mask around you. Uh, and that's that's perfect. Uh, so that's it. Close it out. And let's solo the second layer and do the same thing. But for the second part. So this one is great. And we need to move it a little bit to the to the left. So move it out. And that's perfect. So now we have the two layers with a mask, respectively. So we need to uh, pre-compose those layers. So click the first one, layer, pre-compose. Let's call this one U. Uh, move attribute to the new composition. Okay. Let's do the same one for the second one. Um, pre-compose. Oh, my bad. Cancel. Click it layer uh pre-compose uh let's call this one too move all the attributes into the new composition and that's it let's click alt double click on the first one u now let's make it white solid new solid let's make it white click okay make comp size okay now let's put it below the u layer now let's also make a mask around around you but instead of the u layer make it on the y layer so like like that uh don't try to bypass the original one because it's gonna give you some some kind of problems so let's do it inside the original one so for that reason make the original one a little larger so that's perfect as you can see it's inside the, the original one now click on the track mat click luma mark inverter now as you can see here we have the only the u that's that's what we need so let's close it up and do the same thing for the two player all all double click layer new solid 
uh, white solid that's perfect make comp size okay put it below then do the same thing uh, if you want it to make it better to see it better uh, just click on the eye just not to see it and then make the mask and that's that's pretty good and on the track mat do the same thing Lumo inverted mat now let's see here let's move this one a little bit move this one a little bit and that's that's perfect so close it up and we have this now we need to make a black layer and a red layer so layer new solid let's call this one U and let's make it a black layer Click OK, make comp size, OK. Now let's apply the chatter effect. Chatter, it's right here. Um, let's click on the view, render. Now on the shape, let's go, let's select on the partner, select custom. Then custom shutter map, select the second layer, which is U. And there we got it. See that right there? Uh, now let's make uh, a red layer. Layer new solid two and let's make a red. It's right here. Okay. Okay. Let's apply also the shadow effect. Um render on the shape, click powder custom and on the custom shutter map click to layer number four and there we got it so now let's hide this these two layers the u and the two pre comps and let's click on the let's organize this a little bit a little bit on the u and the effects click force one and force two so all these values has to be zero 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 and the first two also zero zero and zero now let's do the same thing for the layer two okay first one first two uh zero 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 zero, zero. okay that's it now let's create a new layer new camera uh 35 millimeters that's good now let's rotate it a little bit. Oh, by the way, um, on the U layer, click shutter, shape, force. Now, right here where it says camera system, select com camera and do the same thing for the other layer. Right here, com camera. And there we can control the layer through the comp camera. So as you can see there, we have the 3D logo. Now let's make it um, a little bit with more depth. Let's make it around 0 0.50, 0 0.5. That's, that's good. And let's do the same thing for the black layer shape uh extrusion that 0.5 okay now let's move the camera back a little bit so we can see better that's it that's perfect now let's pre-compose all these layers click the first one um, and click shift press shift and click the last one now layer Pre-compose, pre-compose, 